Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and for the new viewers out there as always welcome guys as you guys can tell we're not in our normal studio I am actually out at a local mall King of Prussia um, you guys wanted a shopping or you guys wanted the hundred dollar challenge and I've tried filming it twice and it was a disaster like um, I think we, we went to Target twice two or three times and it was hard to find things the fitting room wasn't open I had to go into the restroom and try things. It, it was a mess. So we are scratching that. I'm just giving you guys a nice and easy shopping vlog today. So we came out to the mall. I think we might just go around to a couple of different places, show you guys a couple pieces that I've been looking at online. And you know, we'll pick things up, take it back to the studio, and I'll show you guys uh, what I picked up and what are some things that you might, you guys might want to pick up at the mall or online. Now, before we head into the mall, uh, I'm going to do a quick fit check. So starting from the bottom, we have um, pair of Amamania 3s you guys know these are skyrocketing but absolutely love them Richie Lee denim and I'm just wearing um, ALD hoodie and then this is a varsity jacket that I found at the vintage shop in New York and the cold box and hat so nice and easy a good shopping outfit uh, but yeah like I said uh, we're gonna go in and we're gonna shop around but I'm not gonna bring in my camera just because a lot of places in the mall don't want me to film so I'm just gonna use my phone to film everything else but uh, with that said guys make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram for more content like this one but let's go inside So this is the first piece that I'm trying on. It's like a little denim jacket type of thing. I definitely wouldn't wear it with a hoodie underneath, but if I sized up, I could. But I would probably wear this on its own or just over a t-shirt. I do like the color though. Not bad. This is the second jacket. It's like this mint greenish jacket. Very lightweight, good for the spring season. I do really like this. I like the fit of it. And I think it's a good way to add color to my wardrobe. You guys know I'm always looking to add color. Guys, they have like an entire set going on, this entire section. So it has like t-shirts, sweatpants, hoodie, shorts, long sleeve tee. It's kind of like the essentials line almost. Or this might be the basics of this H&M. I know they came out with like recently with like, a, like really high quality basics. I might have to pick some of these up too. So this is a crew neck sweatshirt that my wife actually picked out. I really like it. It's like a drop shoulder fit. It's oversized, just how we like it. It's just tan neutral color. You guys know I love to have, but this got us thinking we might actually do a challenge at one of the stores in this mall where she goes and picks out like a whole outfit. So just to kind of make the video a little more interesting, but yeah, maybe we'll do that. Guys, this jacket is giving all the Cole Buxton vibes. It's kind of this hairy, I don't even know what to call these, but it looks really good. And I know Cole Buxton just recently dropped a shirt like shirt jacket like this one, so I might have to pick one up. This is a good one too. H&M has a lot of bangers. <laughs> We're in Zara now, and this is, I think, where she's gonna attempt to do the outfit challenge for me. Um, she actually found something really cool already. <laughs> but for the challenge, I'm not gonna give any inputs on pieces till we buy it. trying it on so this is the first outfit as she picked out these are the pants 
Um, these are women's pants, actually. They're a little short. But... Sneakers. Um, this is kind of like a sweaterish material, but it's like a mock neck almost. And then the shirt jacket. It's a little different. Yeah, a little different than what I usually wear. I like how but... this peeks out though. All right, we're gonna move on. As you guys can see, we have quite a bit of stuff. So we're gonna move on to the next one. All right guys, so this is the second outfit, same pants and same shoes, which is a size too small, my feet are kind of hurting right now but Should I go grab another one? it's fine it's just for the look but we changed changed we just changed the top to um basic white tee with this knitted cardigan you guys know i do not really wear cardigans but she likes the look I yeah do. all right so this is the third outfit i believe um kept the white t-shirt she swapped it out for this like sherpa um jacket shirt jacket sort of so pretty basic up top and we changed the pants to this, I don't know, greenish pair of jeans. Um, and we just tossed on my Alma um, Manier 3s, but... Do they fit well, the jeans? The waist is a little big. Um, this is a 31. We don't didn't have a 30, so we tried it on 31. But it's fitted down the leg, so I don't know how a 30 would feel. Yeah. But that's the third outfit. Last and final outfit, um, black jeans straight fit jeans it's a little bit small but i think if we size up it'll be fine and we have a, just a plain white hoodie it's kind of like a different material it's almost like a performance fabric um and then this puffer this puffer is on sale 30 dollars, i think but yeah that's the fourth outfit that she uh dressed me in so let me know down below in the comment section which outfit you think is the best but she says she already has an idea of which one she thinks she's going to take home so We'll go ahead and see that at the studio when we get back. All right, what's going on, guys? We are back in the studio now. It's been a few days since I did the actual shopping, but now I'm going to show you guys all the pieces that I picked up, some of the pieces that you guys can pick up right now at H&M, Zara, as well as Target. And I know I mentioned this in the beginning of uh, the video. Uh, this was supposed to be the $100 outfit challenge, but I went to two different Targets, two different times, and it just didn't work out. Uh, so instead of scrapping the entire idea or the entire video, I wanted to give you guys a shopping vlog because I think it's a cool thing to see. Some of the pieces that are available to you are at you know online your local stores or local malls and it's a little bit different than the content that i've been giving you guys on this channel so i definitely wanted to do it and i had a lot of fun with it uh, but that being said i did buy one piece at target it was one of the times that i did go to do the challenge and it's a piece that i found and i really liked it and i wanted to show it to you guys it's this all-around fleece uh, quilted pattern jacket now this is from the women's section and i think this is the perfect piece for this time of the year where it's you know transitioning into the spring so it's not a super heavy jacket but it's definitely going to keep you warm and i sized up to i believe a double xl and it looks really really good on uh, i could definitely see me rocking this you know over a hoodie over a sweatshirt or even like a t-shirt when it comes to you know when it gets a little bit warmer uh but you need that outerwear so i think it's that perfect piece yeah and i really like the cropped look that this jacket comes in you know if you whenever you try women's pieces on to us men a lot of the times it is going to be cropped and i do like that especially because i am a shorter guy um and no i just threw it on and instantly i knew i had to get it and it's something that i knew you guys would like as well so if you guys do have a target nearby um definitely go and check this piece out i think it was on it was 45 dollars ticketed but i think it was on sale so i got it for 31 dollars so it was a really good start to the challenge as you can see but it didn't come through but nonetheless a really really good jacket something that you guys are going to want i'm um, going into that spring season and right, the next piece i want to show you guys that i picked up from h&m is a pair of jeans you guys know every guy needs a good pair of jeans in their wardrobe um, now that we're going into the spring season and to the warmer season i think a light wash denim is a must and i this one caught my eye just because how, how simple the wash is it's going to work with a lot of different things it's just one of those staple pieces that you need in your wardrobe and I actually got this in a size 30-32 because I wanted a pair of jeans that would stack nicely on any sneakers I throw on with it. And I'm usually a 30-30 and even then I still have to cuff it up sometimes. So 30-32, I think it fits perfect. Um, it definitely 
uh, has the silhouette that I'm looking for when it comes to straight denim. And you guys know we're gearing into uh, more of like relaxed straight fit instead of the slim and skinnies. So I really like the fit of this. I think it's super comfortable too. Uh, it has a lot of stretch to it. Uh, so it's just a really good pair of jeans. And the best part is this was only $20. I think it was $19.99. So it's part of their like recycled cotton line um, and they tend to be on the cheaper side. So if you guys have an H&M, definitely check it out. They're denim i heard a lot of good things about it uh, especially after they revamped the entire line so i'm super excited to get my wear out of this but really really pleased with this piece right here all right jumping into the next piece now the next three pieces that i got from h&m i picked them up because it reminded me a lot of cole buxton and you guys know i love cole buxton but they just happen to be really expensive uh, so i figured if these work out for you it could be a good budget friendly option now the first piece we're going to get into is a pair of sweatpants and as you guys can see it looks a lot like the cole buxton warm-up pants now this one comes in at just 34.99 so it's 35 dollars which is a fraction of the price that Cole Buxton has it at and now it's not as heavy as Cole Buxton I know the material is not going to be as durable but everything else like the fit the silhouette the features of the pants they all very close to uh, that of Cole Buxton now I tried it on and I got the Cole Buxton pants and this one in a size small and the fit is very very similar uh, it has that elastic cuff at the bottom the thick waistband uh, I, if anything I think this is a good piece now going into the spring and the summer season just because I find it hard for me to wear Cole Buxton in the summer just because it is really heavy uh, so this might be a good alternative not only in price but maybe uh, for a different season for the warmer season so if you guys are living in the warmer climate this might be a good option. I was really pleased with it. It comes in a lot of different colors, so I think you'll find one that works for you. Right, getting into the next piece, this is just a crew neck sweatshirt, an oversized crew neck sweatshirt. I got this in a size large to have more of a boxy fit. And this is just another color that you can get the sweatpants in. Like there's a ton of different colors and it all comes with like the sweatpants, the sweatshirt, um, a hoodie, like t-shirt and shorts all that good stuff so you can find one that works for you uh, and i really like this it's comfortable it's on the lighter side um, but it has like that thick ribbed collar as you guys know i love that and the uh, the cuff by the sleeves but overall it's just a really simple really good crew neck sweatshirt you can wear it as a set but you can also break it up and wear this with a pair of jeans or cargos so i see myself rocking this like maybe underneath a vest or a jacket uh, so i'm really excited about this piece and the sweatpants too and like i said there's so many colors to try you're gonna find one that works for you so i highly recommend you guys to check this out right, getting into the last piece that i picked up from h&m arguably my favorite piece out of this entire haul um, this is a shirt jacket just a black and white pattern shirt jacket and you guys know it looks very similar to the cole buxton shirt jacket that they recently came out with um, but i actually like this color more than the ones that cole buxton came out with because it's just a simple black and white colorway it's very easy to pair up things up with and I think I sized up to a medium in this one like the small was very fitted and I think it works but for me I like to style like hoodies underneath it and I would definitely need a size up and this is a beautiful beautiful piece you guys saw me try it on in front of the mirror and it fits perfect like i love everything about this piece it's a good weight so it's going to keep you warm but you could definitely wear it with just a t-shirt when it comes to that spring season and i feel like shirt jackets are really in this season and every company is selling them so you know having like a good budget friendly option because i think the cole buxton one was close to like 300 dollars. i think it was maybe 250 but this one comes in at 80 dollars, so i definitely good good budget friendly option that you guys have at H&M so make sure you guys check it out uh, this is really my favorite piece out of this entire shopping vlog right now we're going to be diving into the pieces that I picked up from Zara now as I told you guys before the, all of these pieces are picked up by my wife and I didn't give any input I just followed her around and she looked and she picked out basically an outfit and I think we got like one or two interchangeable pieces uh, so I wanted to run you guys through that and kind of get your opinion on the outfit that she picked out she still doesn't know what I think about the outfit which i'll be telling her after i record this video uh, but the first piece is this pants right here you guys saw it in the fitting room um, when i tried it on this is actually a women's trouser and this piece is 
absolutely amazing. Like, I love the fit of it. Uh, she thought it was a little bit too cropped, but I thought it was perfect. Like, I have a pair of white leather sneakers that I could wear with this with, but if I wanted to rock it with, you know, one of my other sneakers, like the Jordan 1 High Neutral Grays, I could definitely do that. But it's a really good piece, a piece that you could dress down, but also dress up. Um, and I really like the color, too. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like that, like bordering the line of brown and purple yeah like like i said it's really difficult to explain but nonetheless it's going to be a good versatile piece to have in the wardrobe um and the weight of it is really good too uh so definitely surprised to see or find this item at zara especially in the women's section but um no it worked out uh, so for those of you guys who are on the shorter side might be able to find trousers in the women's section but yeah i'm really pleased with this piece and now the top that she chose to go with those pants it's this one now she picked up a white t-shirt um but it was more so this cardigan right here this heavy knitted cardigan and you guys have probably never seen me in a cardigan before. I think there's one picture on Instagram where I am wearing a cardigan. I just don't gravitate towards it like I used to just because, I don't know, I just don't find it fitting into my style too much. But I got to say, I really like this cardigan. This actually caught my eye too as I was walking around. I didn't say anything, but she ended up uh, picking it out and pairing it with those pants. And, you know, you can tuck in the white t-shirt. And this white t-shirt too is slightly oversized. As you guys know, I'm, I'm all about that. And I was actually on the hunt for an oversized white t-shirt. So this one I was definitely pleased with. And this is an outfit that I can definitely see myself wearing in the spring season. Uh, so really happy with the outfit that she chose out and like wearing it with a white leather sneakers i think will tie it up really nicely but no i'm trying to, i've been trying to get into the cardigan a little bit more because i see a lot of different brands making cardigans uh like those varsity style cardigans too i've been trying to find it um in a, at a vintage shop or whatever but no i really like this look now the only thing with zara and h&m that i i, I hate when they do this but they put like black buttons on pieces that are on the lighter side i don't know why they do it um it just makes the button stand out so much and it looks very almost cheap um and i know a lot of higher end brands do not do that um so that's the one thing that i have against like h&m and zara and like fast fashion stores but i gotta say i do really like the fit of the cardigan and just the weight of it so you know, overall, I'm really pleased with this outfit, but I'm going to show you guys a few of the interchangeable pieces that she got so that I could style this in different ways. All right, so one piece that she picked up so that I can interchange it with the cardigan and just throw it over a white t-shirt is this shirt jacket right here. It is a beautiful piece, in my opinion, uh, especially going into the warmer season. I think it's a good lightweight layering piece to make your outfit a little bit more interesting. And I could definitely see myself, you know, rocking this with either jeans or even sweatpants, uh, which is a nice, simple tee underneath and i just love the color and pattern this shirt comes in it's really different from a lot of the shirt jacket that i usually wear and shirt jackets always just catches my eye and it's such a good layering piece like i said uh, so it never hurts to have couple in your rotation now the only gripe i have about um zara shirt jacket it tends to be pretty expensive for what it is like this one is the same price as the shirt jacket i bought from h&m and this is much much lighter like the one from h&m is a lot um, heavier it has a good fit to it now this one i don't know why it's priced at 80 dollars, but uh, nonetheless it's up it's a pretty good piece and i could definitely dress this up too um, and dress it down and having that versatility in your wardrobe is always a good thing um, but yeah this is one piece that she had me uh, grab but there's another piece the last piece that she picked up to um change how i style the pants all right now getting into our last piece um from zara i was actually surprised that she ended up keeping this one because all the pieces that i just showed you guys are on the dressier side and this is more of a casual piece this is just a cream colored sweatshirt and it's in this like performance fabric i don't know how to explain it really um, but a lot of the features of this sweatshirt makes it seem like it's for athletic wear it has like that thick cuffing at the sleeves it has like that pulled drawstring cord at the bottom so you could tighten the, or cinch the bottom in. Uh, no drawstring and traditional kangaroo pouch. Uh, but again, like the fabric, it just makes it seem like more of an athletic wear. But I'm really glad she uh, kept this piece because one, I 
really love hoodies, and you guys know I can never have enough. But I also love how she was able to style those pants um, a little bit more casually and give me an option to wear, you know, dressed up, but also I can dress down with this hoodie. And I do really like the cream color combination with those pants. Um, and, you know, maybe wearing it with white leather sneakers or even like this California, the Fear of God California, as you guys know, I'm always in. Uh, so I definitely like giving me that option. And also I can layer the shirt jacket on top. And I think that's what she intended. Um, in the fitting room, I didn't try that combination on. I just tried this piece on with a pair of jeans. But I could definitely see it working. And you guys will see it in the B-roll. And you guys can kind of see how it, that looks. Um, put together and yeah you guys can let me know down in the comment section down below how you guys think she did with this whole outfit challenge i know a lot of you guys wanted to see her style me in a video uh, and this is something that we thought of right on the spot so if you guys did enjoy it i will make a whole nother video maybe even a series where she styles me from different stores uh, she could even shop it online and we can unbox it together uh, so if you guys did enjoy that um definitely let me know down below give this video a thumbs up so that we can continue doing this and i know she had a lot of fun doing it as well so we would we definitely wouldn't mind and that is going to be it for today's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and if you guys did always always let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below you guys know how far that goes in getting this video out to more people in an effort to grow this community and guys subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more content like this and make sure you click on that notification bell so you guys get notified every time i drop a new video and while you guys are down there comment down below everything that i ask you to comment throughout this entire video but let me know how you guys like this format do you guys want more shopping vlogs i'm happy to do it i really had a lot of fun making this but with all that out of the way guys make sure you follow me on instagram but if you guys watch this video all the way to the last bit i love each and every single one of you and and i'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs>